the origin of the living beings from the vacuum, and the invisible ones, the living beings that inhabit the vacuum between the sun and the earth, how is their origin? They were some beings who stayed on a part of the plane and did not deform completely, as the bodies that extinguished on the resin and on the part already deformed of the plane. All rational bodies, being that, those ones invisible stayed on another part and stopped the progress, not becoming deformed at all, and these are the inhabitants from the vacuum. Those who continued with progress got to the extinction of their bodies, which is the origin of human beings, as you already know. That is why there are two worlds, that of the vacuum, of the invisible inhabitants and that of you on earth. But everything that is between the sun and on the earth, below them is deformed, even though the invisibles are classified in a superior category than those who deformed completely, who became animals at once, as the bodies there, products of animals, from this animal place which are the earth and the water. They are deformed in superior category, in space and you, in inferior category, but even though they are deformed as a superior category, they could never unveil the enchantment, maintaining all of you in this life of experiences, without knowing how to divulge everything, for being enchanted, as well. This is why spiritism exists since long centuries and veteran eras and never went beyond this. It always kept himself with the bad habit of reincarnations, saying that the bodies on earth are always the same to be born. But you do not know that the bodies return to be born on earth due to the seeds that are in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, in earth, in water, in the animals, and in the vegetables, which you already know. You called it reincarnation because you did not know that the bodies die and return in flesh, because of the seeds being always the same. And thus, since long it is reigning with this name of reincarnation, saying that everyone has spirit, but you don't know that this body that is born there is spirit, because it was born to live in experiences and all who live in experiences are spirits, erring more than succeeding, victims of the experiences, for coming from the space the influences, because your nature is already done for these correspondences with the stars, which are the bodies. Therefore, what are the invisible of the space? They are deformed beings in a superior category of your deformation and of all, as you know, from this globe, the sun, moon, and all. And in the space, is the hierarchy the same of that on earth? Yes, there are good and bad living beings, and on earth it is the same thing, because your nature is the same and depends on the same formation. There are the deformed beings, which almost entirely lost their virtues. These are the bad beings and those who did not lose, are the better ones. But all are equally deformed, because they belong to this same formation and depend upon it. Now you ask, and how do they feed? By the aroma of the arctopheric gases. And the sun, its sustenance is natural, because in its movement is its food. And the moon, why does it wane and later get full and makes these modifications? Due to its great magnetic action. When it is with its radiation very strong, it is very visible and as it transmits, it wanes. It receives the charge when it waxes, it enlarges and after full, it starts to discharge. Do you that the waning part is good for everything? The moon, because it is of great magnetic action, is what has an effect on everything and everyone. It is a magnetic body, like the feminine body, which is also set to receive charges and to discharge. When it is discharging, it is regulating with her moon until the charge runs out. Finish the charge, anything else is seen and it starts to charge again. So is the moon, after charged, we see it big and beautiful and after discharged, disappeared and nothing else is seen. It does not disappear, it seems to disappear, because it is a body of magnetic effect. Charged it is visible, discharged it is invisible. In all of those modifications is that comes what is called the full when it is charged, first quarter, when it is charging, last quarter, when it is discharging, and new moon, when it is completely discharged, thus forming the four moon quarters. And those movements are provided because the nature is itself an electric and magnetic conjunct, working the moon as a charging and discharging battery by the effluvium of the waves and currents of the own nature. The moon has, thus, with its magnetic influence a great influence on matter, an influence that all material beings obey to, depending on its regulation, 
due to the electric and magnetic fluids it produces. The stars, the same way, with their electric and magnetic effluviums. They are electric and magnetic bodies, formed from the essence of matter, as you know how, from the virtues of the resin and the deformed plane. Virtues are lives and these lives correspond to other lives. The stars are electric and magnetic bodies, because nature is, also, electric and magnetic. These bodies bright above all terrestrials, and are components of the same nature, with different formation, due the deformation of beings. The seven parts. Of the why of everything. So, how many parts is the world divided in? In seven. How many parts are the bodies divided in? In seven parts. Thus, this explanation is called, the seven parts of the why you are like that, that you are made of these seven parts gathered, making the formation of all bodies, or of the animal body, which stems from or originates from the rational. That is why rational immunization is for all, because the bodies are there made for it, depending on it, as you already know. And because the deformation is in those seven particles, it is that the immunized living being goes on making the immunization goes on care of taking away those particles from the deformed parts and transporting them into here, in rational plane, from where you came and then, forming the body, much different from that of yours. And once so, the living being will not be born there anymore, in that deformed world, the way you do now, while the virtues remain in those seven parts. Here it is very clear data, well checked, which explained and lapidated as such, only in this scripture, bit by bit. These passages, very profound and very high, are for the joyous to have the true fraternal love for themselves, due to the solid base that are here, proving to all that in rational immunization are the solutions of everything that all need. And how can the living being become immunized as soon as possible? Reading every day, the more, the better. The living being reading with persistence, very rapidly will attain the immunization, starts to become integrally immunized in a short time. To attain it, you must know and to know one must read daily, thus cooperating for its most elevated point, and the immunized living being is covered by the greatest universal treasure. Here it is the salvation door in your hands, opened in the world by rational immunization. And the immunized does not suffer, those who do not know or who suffer, and those who know will suffer if they want to. And who wants to suffer? Nobody. Suffering makes no fun to anybody laughs. Therefore, read for you to get as soon as possible rational immunization and put in practice the greatest treasure of all, universally. What is an immunized living being? He is one consolidated in everything, knowing everything, knowledgeable of everything, capable of following always the correct path to happiness. Who does not want one's return to the place of origin? Everyone does. Once knowing and knowledgeable of how to return, all will want to leave this hell forever. Who wants to be born again in this world? Nobody. Because hell is there indeed, in that world, that is why you are in that fire and can only see by the power of fire. During the day, to be able to see, it is the sun that kills, and at night, to see, you must turn on the fire, light. Fire at daytime, fire at night. The purgatory is when you go to sleep, that is why in the morning, when you get up, you have your eyes and other parts of the body purging. With rational immunization, however, all of this will cease, because in it is the return to rational plane and reaching it, everyone will cry of joy because it will arrive in the world everything that the living being needs. It will be enormous the delirium of satisfaction and the shake, by the surprise will be immensely. And so, everyone ought to read to become immunized. Here it is, therefore, the world free of the hecatombs and sufferings, because the immunization brings to the world everything which is good to everyone. Universe in Disenchantment, the Book of Absolution from Condemnation to Extermination. You will no longer be mortals. In the book Universe in Disenchantment are all writings of the absolution of this condemnation to the extermination. The world is an electric and magnetic fluidic conjunct. For being the world an electric and magnetic fluidic conjunct is the reason of everything that exists in the world is from electric and magnetic fluidic origin. Therefore, the most powerful force in this electric and magnetic fluidic conjunct is in the fluids, 
being the fluids the most powerful force of generation, formation, and creation. So, in the fluid is everything. From the fluids depend the formation of all beings. So, all beings are from electric and magnetic fluidic formation. And because everything is from fluidic origin, it is that you are so, unstable as you are, generate, born, grow, flourish, and disappear, because the fluid passes, the fluid is transitory, the fluid is everything that constitutes the generation, formation, and creation. Because everything is from fluidic origin, it is why each being has its fluid. Each being is constituted by a fluid, in this variant and deformed nature, as it is. There is infinity of fluids, all different from each other. And because there is such infinity of fluids different from one another, it is that everyone is different from one another, it is that everything is different, because everything is from fluidic origin. Therefore, in the fluid is everything. In the fluid is the formation of this apparent everything. And so being, each one with one's fluid, which gave origin to one's formation, which generated the microbes for the formation of one's body. Each being with its fluid. Then, rational immunization catches this fluid and takes it to rational plane, the place of origin, and then, the living being will not be born here anymore, because what made the living being, being born there is not in that heat anymore, inside that deformation. And so, there is no effect without a cause. The cause of the microbe is the fluid. The cause of the body is the microbe. Not existing the fluid, there is no microbe. Not existing the microbes, there are no beings. Without heat, there is no fluid. Without sun, there is no heat. And if there were no virtues of the bodies before these, which were losing the virtues and these were gathering to form this light focus, there would also not be the sun. If there were not the inhabitants that left the rational part to enter the plane that was not yet ready for progress, would not be this deformation either. And so, there it is how the salvation of the living being is done. There it is the way everyone will return to one's place of origin, because you are from rational origin. And it had to come the day of knowing your origin and why you became rational animals, out of your place of origin, rational plane, up here, where are the others with their progress of purity? Then, rational immunization catches this fluid, which gave origin to the formation of your being and takes it to the place of origin, rational plane. And so, everyone with the instructions of this deformation, of the progress of this deformation to the natural state, which is of pure, clean and perfect rationals. And then, everyone in your true place of the pure, clean, and perfect rationals. From rational animals, due to being deformed, returning to the place of origin of the pure, clean, and perfect rationals. Therefore, do not waste time. Care to read, to know your origin, your formation, how you were formed, where you came from, where you are going to, successively. The fluid is everything. It is everything good and everything bad. There is the good fluid and the bad fluid. The bad fluid is due to it being deformed. But once going to rational plane, it becomes good, because bad is only there in matter. And only there in matter, the fluid is deformed into fire, it became bad. But in matter, one speaks about good fluid, but no fluid is good, because matter is bad. Then, every fluid is bad due to it being deformed there, but once leaving from there, from within the fire, it returns to its natural state, because it cools down, it loses the deformed part and returns to the natural of pure, clean, and perfect, in rational plane. There, in the matter, one speaks of good and bad, but everything is bad, due to all being deformed, due to all originating from evil, due to all being originated from matter, and in matter there is nothing of good, there is only the apparent good, but appearances are not true. If you were good, you would not be in matter. Matter cannot be good. It suffices to be matter to be bad. So, where is the good in matter? Nowhere. Where is the goodness in matter? Nowhere. Nevertheless, the fluid is deformed as bad there, in this material deformation, but once leaving from there, from this enchanted part, from evil, leaving, the fluid becomes pure, because it cools off, and leaves from within the fire from there, from this electric and magnetic fluidic conjunct. Upon returning to its original state, 
This becomes to have life, but a different life, a pure life, here among the pure, your place of origin of pure, clean, and perfect rationals. Therefore, life is fluidic. The fluid is the causer of the life there. The causer of the beings, the causer of everything that exists in the world the electric and magnetic fluid. There it is a little piece about the formation of the beings for a better illustration of what the fluid is. The fluid comes from the heat. The heat comes from the sun. And the sun comes from the virtues of the bodies before these, which were losing their virtues and these, gathering. From there originated the light focus. Then, there it is where you came from, how you came, where you are going to, and how you are going, the beginning of this enchantment and its end, the end of the enchantment. Due to everything being of fluidic origin, it is that everyone and everything is different. Different one thing from another. The fluid is a living being that reproduces different lives, because there is no one equal to the other among material beings. The same way human beings are reproduction apparatus of sin brothers, the fluid is also a reproduction apparatus, but always of the same being, it always reproduces the same being and not many beings. Each being has its fluid, so, the fluid is a body from a living being of eternal life, different from the material body, the same way that the inhabitants from vacuum exist, which are bodies of the electric and magnetic fluid, completely different from these electric and magnetic bodies in fluidic matter. Therefore, the fluid, this body, as long as it stays deformed there in this electric and magnetic conjunct, the being to which it corresponds, will always be born there and for it not to be born there anymore, it is necessary that the living being knows what rational immunization is, to become immunized, and once immunized, the immunization catches this fluid, this body that is deformed and takes it to the place of origin, rational plane. Once this fluid, this body that is on fire in this electric and magnetic fluidic conjunct, when leaving from there, it cools down, returns to its natural, it will continue its life together with the others in rational plane, with its progress of purity, and with time, comes the extinction of this body in electric and magnetic fluidic matter, coming the extinction of what made the living being be born there, and once immunized, you will not be born there anymore. So, there it is explained how the end of everything will be, how it will be and has to be, of this dreadful enchantment. There it is the beginning, there it is the end, there it is where you came from, how you came, where you are going to and how you are going. There is no male or female fluid. The fluid is only one being. But in the deformation of the animals, of the enchantment, it is where exists this deformation of two beings, of two sexes, male and female. Then, now came, to the world, the most important knowledge of all times, for the end of this hell, of this ring of suffering, which appeared not to have an end any more. Everyone suffering without knowing the beginning and the end of this bitter life, insatiable life. The world, without satisfaction, with worries without limit, without end, where no one understands one another or oneself. Everyone trapped there in matter, prisoners of that life of enchantment, without knowing the beginning and the end, much less of this all apparent. And for being so, tired of suffering, many times discouraged, saying, I want to sleep and not wake up. I do not stand to live in a world under permanent suffer. Other, very discouraged, saying, I hope that my day comes. I am so tired to live this life. Every day the same thing, always disconcerting news. I hope that my day comes. If it is to be tomorrow, make it be today, because I know that this day will come. And so, many very discouraged, discouraged indeed from suffering so much, from anguishing so much, disappointed with the illusions, disillusioned, many times laughing for not crying. The worries are so many, that the living being wants to sleep and cannot. The watch does not stop working. And so, today, arriving in everyone's hands, the most important discovery, which is rational immunization, bringing to everyone the knowledge of everything, for everyone to return to one's place of origin, the rational plane. But the way life is going on, where would everyone end up with the multiplication of suffering? Where would everyone end up? With the extinction of this generation, through progress of the degeneration, everyone would go through another deformation, 
much worse than this one, which would be of quadrupeds. And so, today, rational immunization in everyone's hands to embargo the progress of this deformation into another much worse. And joyful with this knowledge, brightened with rational immunization, all happy and satisfied. There it is the end of everyone's condemnation, the end of the condemnation to extermination. You will not be condemned any more, because there it is, the knowledge of the absolution from anguish, from agonies, from suffering and from extermination. There it is, in everyone's hands, rational immunization, the absolution of the condemnation, condemned to suffer, condemned to the exterminated. Care to become immunized immediately, reading and rereading always this book for you to be absolved from this punishment, which you brought onto yourselves due to your own millenarian will, searched by the free arbitrium, which reigns until today among all. And so, everyone very happy, much so very happy, due to having in your hands the information about your absolution, which is rational immunization. A lot of happiness on the entire world, a lot of festivities, which is expected upon knowledge of this great reality, where you came from, how you came, why you came, where you are going to, how you will go, and why you will go, which represents the absolution of the condemnation to the extermination. You will no longer be mortals for being there the return to the place of origin, the rational plane. In the world is rational immunization, and so, everyone is going to one's place of origin, which is rational plane. Condemned to suffer and to die, you did not know the reason of this condemnation, and today, knowing, being aware, and seeing the reason of all of this, the reason of it being true, there is no effect without cause. If you were made under those conditions, it is because there is a cause. Now you are knower of the cause and the effect. The Book of the Absolution of Suffering and Extermination, the Book Universe in Disenchantment, the Book that contains all history of the generation, of creation, and of formation of this Ring of Bitterness, the enigmatic and mysterious enchantment. Everyone, there, maintains the mystery and enigma, but in search of what? Of nothing, without knowing anything right, without knowing anything about yourself. Everyone considering this enchantment is an enigma and considering yourselves enigmatic. And today, there it is the solution of all these enigmas, of this park of deceit, of this park of remediation until not being able to remedy any more, of this park of adventures, of this park of dreams. Some dreaming with open eyes and others thinking that life is this one indeed. But, at the same time, they contradict themselves due to not standing suffering anymore. The deformation of the part of the plane and of the rational bodies. The deformation of the part of the plane that had been melting, becoming a gum and after melted, became water, at the same time that the other part of the same plane, which had the resin and this resin, with the heat of the light focus, started to clump, and after clumped, it started to roast, becoming ashes, completed their state of deformation when the water, penetrating in the ashes, with time, rotted, generating from this rotting, microbes of all kinds. Then, this amount of rationals who entered into this part that was not yet ready to enter progress and due to not being ready, it started to deform and this deformation caused the dislocation from the plane that is up here, and as they progressed, that part of the plane, not yet ready for progress was going down and also down with it were those rationals, also deforming and losing the virtues. And as they lost their virtues, these were accumulating, and after a certain time, all gathered, they started to deform into a light focus. In what degree were they already? In the second degree. This was when the light focus started. As they deformed themselves, everything was going down and distancing each time more from that focus. When they got to the third degree, they were already in the end of extinction of those bodies. And then, those who extinguished on the resin deformed into ashes generated the female sex and those who extinguished themselves on the plane transformed into gum generated the male sex. They were here in the beginning of the third degree. And it took a long eternity for the formation of these bodies. The light increased, each time more, its warmth and thus came the formation of other bodies, much different from these. As the deformation progressed, the bodies were modifying, they were not as you are in today's generation, as the present generation is very different from the generation of thousands of years ago. 
The bodies formed initially were deaf, mute, and blind, and only later the vision sprang up. No one understood each other. They saw, but did not know to divulge what they saw. And so, they took a long eternity and were already in the fourth degree. They understood each other by waves and then, the voice coming, they yelped and howled. They stayed there for a great eternity. When they got to the fifth degree of deformation, they already understood each other by howling and yelping. The light focus always warming, each time more everything was going down. The heat always stronger, penetrated deeply into the ashes and into the gum and everything melting and going down, while the understanding was by howling and yelping. They got to the sixth degree, the sixth degree of the deformation and started to loosen the voice. They were stutterers, they all stuttered, but did not understand each other with this stuttering. During the seventh degree, more advanced. In this seventh progress of the deformation, a large part of the plane had already become ash. The virtues of these deformed ashes, as it was deforming and losing its virtues, caused those virtues to gather, causing the formation of the moon. The moon, even though formed, did not show up, starting to gather on it the virtues of the resin, of the plane, and of parts from the rational's bodies. During this degree, they were already advanced stutterers. During the eighth degree, even more advanced stutterers, starting, during this phase, to gather the virtues of the plane and the resin for the formation of the stars, which, in that time, were only in formation, did not yet show up. Ninth degree, progress of much more advanced stutterers, but they were not yet of understanding, however, they loosened their voices each time more. During the tenth degree, they were stutterers with some understanding, but very vague. Eleventh degree, more advanced, by a little bit. Twelfth degree, the same way. In this phase, the resin, with its deformation already well developed. During the thirteenth degree, the water penetrated extensively underneath these ashes of the resin. The solid parts stayed and the non-solid went down and the water, taken over these places, originating the separation of the lands. The non-solid parts with the penetration of water underneath submerged, and the solid parts are those that are there. It was in this thirteenth progress that these divisions started. Now you ask, and why does the sea move? I say, because the sea is alive and produces lives. Furthermore you ask, and why does freshwater move very little? Because it also has life, but it does not have the strength of its life, like of the sea. It does not have the strength of the sea, why? Because freshwater has a tranquil and placid life and the life of the sea is agitated. Then, when the separation of lands caused by water began, the moon started to appear, very little showing itself. In the fourteenth degree started to be born vegetation completely different from of those you know, because in that time it did not yet rain. Progress was still of stutterers and the living beings, from so much effort for stuttering, felt the throat drying up and started to make use of water little by little. With time, they were increasing its use, originating the dilation of the organs. During the fifteenth degree, they started to make use of some vegetables, they were still stutterers with insignificant understanding, and in space there was already a large quantity of vapor, which came out from the ashes and water, produced by the light focus, which warmed up each time more, its intensity. This vapor, accumulating up to a certain height, with time turned into water, producing a drizzle, and during this phase it is when rain started and during this same progress, also the generation of animals appeared. In the sixteenth degree started the dilation of the organs. Until then, they were eternal, but did not have an understanding of things. In the seventeenth degree they were well developed and so was the deformation, starting then to use vegetables in abundance, it was when the first cases of death appeared. New generations started during this progress and they lasted a long eternity. They died and were born, died and were born stutterers, with little understanding of things. They eat the vegetables that appealed to them and, among them, the poisonous ones, which they did not know and thus eat them and died. It started, there, the new generations, the new understandings, they started to pay attention to what was good and to what was bad, due to eating it and feeling bad. It came then, in this seventeenth progress, many generations.
In the 18th degree, the moon already appeared with its modifications and the stars too, the deformation was almost entirely completed. Day and night started to appear, due to the sun making its trajectory, setting and rising, setting and rising. 19th degree, 19th eternity, with a lot of understanding about things. The vegetation completely modified, due to day and night already existing, and, at this stage, it already rained, a little, but it did rain. During the 20th degree, in progress the new generations and new understandings, regular understandings, but they did not yet have knowledge of things. Only when they got to the 21st degree, it is when they started to understand each other normally. With the intensity of the heat and its accumulation, which rose, it was when the rains started and the living beings started to hide in dens and huts, to make shelters, and only much later, during this 21st progress, it is when started the first steps you are now living. Before those first steps began, they already understood each other and life was of exchange. And so, there it is these data, for certifying how you were coming down and why these degrees are there, what they mean, and what they correspond to. The formation of animals on earth and their degeneration. In this writing is where the living being will know why they could never know how they were made, nor how the world was made, because they were coming through all these deformations indicated in these degrees. There it is why earth is a true animal place, producing animals by all means, of all kinds, the why of you all being animals and why you were never attended by no one, however much you called, because no one made you the way you are. If you are like that, it is because you made yourselves like that and started to make yourselves in the beginning of the deformation. There it is where you came from and where you are going to, through rational immunization. Thus, in which eternity are still you? In the 21st. And if you were deformed into other bodies, you would get into the 22nd. You do know very well that the progress of degeneration reigns in everything. As you degenerate, you diminish. If this progress were to get to the end, the extinction of your bodies would come about and another much worse generation would come. The 22nd deformation would, thus come. Then you ask, how is this progress of degeneration? I say, in past times, the duration of the living beings were of 800 years, but with the progress of degeneration reigning, you have been falling, you have been diminishing and, in a short time ago, you were still lasting 300 years, then 200, and now, very few get to be to 100. In a very short time, you won't even get to live to be 50, thus, coming the extinction by the progress of degeneration, weakening the races. So, do not you know that you were made from the leftover of one from another? You will only not get to a deformation much worse than that in which you live, because of the knowledge, which is now here, in your hands. Did you want to know how the progress of this degeneration would be? It would be much worse. You all would have four legs, as the quadruped animals. You will not get to it. This is only to show you and reveal how you have been transforming, deforming yourselves and how many modifications you had by the degrees of degeneration here clarified, which are the eternities and the forms as you lived. What is rational immunization? Then, what is rational immunization? It is a light focus from the rational part. How is this light focus? This light focus is like, as a simple comparison, a spotlight there on earth. The living being becomes illuminated with this kind of spotlight, which is made from the rational part, much above this vacuum. Through this light, everything from the rational part is broadcasted to the spokespeople there on earth. That is called, then, rational immunization. In the beginning, an invisible light is formed. After a certain time, the living being starts to see, more or less, a silvery, very clear light, which is called rational immunization. After all becoming immunized, everyone will be illuminated by this light, which is the rational light. This is a simple comparison, to analyze of how rational immunization is done, which the living being, at first, does not see, but feels. Now you ask, and this light will shine to the living being day and night. I say, yes. And so, after universally immunized, the sun's light will get much smaller, it will start almost extinguish, due to predominating a light superior to it, 
which is rational immunization. You still ask, and will there be disturbance on nature? No, everything will change naturally and so, you will not feel any of the effects. Once the door from up here is open, it is to embrace everyone universally. Then you say, we want to know all about rational plane up there and much beyond. And I say, you never got to know that world you inhabit, how come you want to already know up here without being here? You always live there in that world, learning until death, without knowing anything and, because of it, the mysteries were always maintained. You always had that world as a mysterious nature. You never knew how you were made, how that world was made, or who made you. You did not know where you came from and where you are going to. You did not know why you lived in that world and in these conditions. You do not yet know everything about this world you inhabit, but you want to know everything here from the rational part. How come? When you get here, yes, you will know everything, bit by bit, from the rational part, why things here are the way they are and much beyond. Wanting to reach above rational plane is for the blind and imprudent living being. The living being asks, Ah, I want you, at least by description, to tell me how it is. Well, here they are the clearest data in this writing, with true and proved basis, because the theory is very good, but practice is much better. The mania of many is to start where others finish, and you lived in this world for so many eons without unveiling your beginning and your end and you want already know about where you are not in yet. As I explained to you, the plane up here is very large, much larger than that world you inhabit. The progress is different. The bodies are pure, clean, perfect, and without defects. Life is of purity and there is no suffering of any kind. They are eternal. They are not animals, much less exist two sexes, it is only one being. Food is much different from that, used by you, as much different are the living beings that inhabit here this plane. Don't you see the sun? It is a living being, and much above it, in the rational part, there are other beings. But different are these bodies, they do not have legs and hands, they are not hairy, they are not animals. Like the sun, it does not have legs or hands, but it walks. These are needed explanations, because there are living beings that the more explanation, the more explanation they want, and others, with half words, get soon to the end of subject and understand everything. There are two rude natures and others less, some reaching with facility in hours what others take months and years to reach. These data are for all to read. I must always answer better than you wish, making you know what rational immunization is and how it comes about to the living being. I made this insignificant comparison with the spotlight because in this way there is the understanding with the spokespeople. Everyone is a spokesman of the world that is the electric and magnetic. Everyone is a spokesman, but the living being asks, is the person who speaks. Yes, it is the person, but only what the rational part wants. In comparison, it is the same way with the electric radios. Who are the radios spokesmen of? Of the radio stations and what the radio stations want, it is what these spokesmen broadcast. And why is it done so? Because the world is an electric and magnetic conjunct. Talking from an extreme of the world is the same thing of talking from here, because by means of these spokesmen everything is known everywhere in the world. This proves that the world is an electric and magnetic conjunct, which these apparatus were already made with this nature. It is like radios, which are made to broadcast everything. The living being also is made of this nature to immunize and be a spokesman from the rational part. For having the thought well developed, that is why you are called rationals. But you are rational animals and because you belong to the rational part, it is why you are already made with the natural finality to rational immunization, which is a natural thing, seeming to be the living being who is talking, but it is visible that it is not so, because the issues discussed at those times are completely unknown to whom is talking and to whom is transmitting, which is not from one's, I from one's knowledge, intellect or capacity. The living being, then, notices that rational immunization is something very natural. You are already rationals, but together with the rational, through rational immunization, the difference is very big and it only becomes common due to it being natural and everyone being rational. So, 
The immunization is everything and the spiritualization is nothing. Spiritualization means to spit, thorns, experiences, from where tribulations are born, that are said to be probations. The living being in experiences and none of it proving anything, makes him to get into probations, meaning, in suffering. Then, the living being says that he is passing through this probation, through this and that or other thing, due to the experiences always being doubtful points to succeed or not. Therefore, everything that is said about spiritualization, of spirit, whatever it is, it is in these seven points, without solution, in this square of probations, due to the practice of experiences being the book of the notions of uncertainty. Then, there, sink the friends of faith, of belief and hope that the weak minds adopted, as if the hopes and experiences are going to show the truth of truths to all. Because in thought and in hope reign the uncertainties, it is that no one could consummate the greatnesses wished and reach them from the experiences points and its derivatives. In spiritism, or rational spiritism, all of this in experiences and also in experiences the rest of the enigmas of nature. Therefore, the confusion of the living beings could not be otherwise. Confused and condemned, sometimes about which seems to be right, for predominating on the living beings the nature of experiences, of uncertainties, coming then these confusions from the spiritism, whatever kind it is, which is always something in experiences. Due to everyone belonging to this spiritual world, it is that you live like that, on doubt about everything, many times seeing things as they are and taking time to admit them, for being enigmatic, for being mysterious. You are beings in experiences, for paying tribute or monopolizing with the spiritual world, saying to each other when the opportunities allow so, that someone had an authentic inspiration, that someone is a strong spirit, and due to that, more clairvoyant than many others. This is the spiritual world, it is the world of those whom lives in experiences and because of it, you are beings that are almost untamable on this respect, when the confusions are none to put in doubt the equilibrium of rational immunization. In rational immunization is the highest point of everything, in it the truths of truths are complete. The base is rational, whereas the spiritual point does not have a base and this is why you never divulge nor could divulge what you are knowing now. The reason of being like that, to live like that in a being full of counterbalances, of doubts and uncertainties in life, starting with life itself, because you don't know the day and time to die. Only this uncertainty is the most frightening thing to any people who fed with these roses. Life is of sciences without base, it cultivates the prose as a refined brilliant and the beauty doesn't even exist in itself. And this is why life has always been a mystery that never had any value because it has no wish, it never had owner, because if it had, the owners of their own lives would lengthen them according to their wishes. Everything is a fluidic mass conjunct and through the fluids they feed and weaken, being the fluid a jet, producing good or bad pyramids. The pyramid is a good or bad target, it is from where one extracts the fluid, which is the thought in this or that, thought that makes you happy, sad or terrified. Many times the living being exchanges the good fluid by the bad due to the appearances which are in it, and the experiences always cause more bad than good, because the point of probation is the uncertainty derived from experiences. But an immunized living being can only get upset if so desired, because in the immunization are the points for all orientations, illustrations, and satisfactions of the immunized living being. The immunized living being lives more correctly than any of the most correct watches, because the watch is subject to deviations, but not the immunized person. It is always that same thing, until the end. This is only rhetoric of the counterpoints of the comparison of rational immunization with spiritism. The spiritualized person worries more and his normal state is of suspicion, scared, always with doubts about everything, always in uncertainty. And the immunized ones, completely different, like from black to white, always certain of everything, without doubts, confident and right. I have to show these counterpoints for you to know what rational immunization is and what spiritualization is. Spiritualization is the being that prevails on the world, but it will stop to prevail when everyone gets to know what rational immunization is through this writing. Then, you will embrace the right and abandon the doubtful, the wrongful, the mistake, the illusion, which is maintained through the experiences. 
penitence, castigations, and punishments will cease for all spiritualized ones that live in a real content of ruins and misery with appearances to deceive, cheat, and cause emotions, tired to see and know that the world, like this, is a true madhouse, it is a true nuts house. You live in that world of suffering, in ignorance and in backwardness to pay what you owe, without knowing what you did to be able to know what you have to pay. Everyone in uncertainty about everything and because of it without knowing what you are talking about, without being able to prove, with a basis, the things you say, because you are spiritualized, living from experiences. I warn you with these subjects, repeated many times, making difference on the way to explain, to orientate the necessary points, to clear up the rudest minds, and so, I explain it by all means and forms, many times, because the living being who does not understand it in one way, will understand it in another way, and by all means the knowledge will come, the understanding, by the many ways to explain, and the rudest entrails be able to get free, to know and develop in themselves rational immunization. Some understand it in one way, others in another, and for all to understand it, it is necessary that it be explained like that, by all means, by all forms, for everyone's reading, for the rude and not rude. For some it is explained too much, and for the rude, the more explained, the better, for more easily free themselves. Rational immunization is based on the own effects that the living being has, feels and sees, through his own development and of everything that needs and desires. Therefore, it is well based, with these solid, clear, and clean bases, giving consequences to many others, of which the living being redeems himself and in redeeming, he says to himself, all of this is proved. Therefore, the acceptance will be general among everyone. Yes, because no one will give up the good life to live bad. Who will leave the right for the doubtful? Who will give up being always right to be wrong? No one. Therefore, who is that who does not want? Who is that who does not accept? Who is that who does not embrace? Everyone will. Here they are, these important data, very clear, and solved, the subject of rational immunization proved by its authentic solutions. Who will give up of taking right measures to take doubtful measures? No one. Therefore, in rational immunization is everything the living being needs. The deformation of the virtues for the formation of the seven parts that comprise. The world and its return to the natural state. The sun is patent to its virtues, as well as the moon, the stars, the water, the animals, and the vegetables. And so being, all these beings, with their patented virtues, give the reason for the knowledge of the beginning of the deformation, which you already know very well the reason for the beings being like that, due to the virtues that are deformed in them, the reason for them, the origin, before the origin, the beginning, the cause and reason for being the way you are. Therefore, there they are, the consequences of this entire path of before, of the before being the way you are now, what you were and why you were like that. I, rational superior, proving and confirming the solution and solutions of this deformation to the natural state, giving the beginning and the end, from where you came and to where you are going. Then you say, clearer and more understandable than it already is, is not possible. And so, by means of rational immunization, comes the transformation of these virtues, which are there, deformed, of these beings, which are there, deformed in these seven parts, to the natural state and once in that state, all of you will be in your natural. And what is everyone's natural state? It is the rational. Therefore, it is clear that the living beings, once rationally immunized, will know everything, define everything, understand everything, will equilibrate themselves completely. After all, you will solve what you could never solve. This because in the immunization lies everything. The knowledge, the beginning of everything, the reason of the beginning of everything, all the powers of the world gathered, and because of this, the immunized living being is complete of everything. Complete of everything, why? Because you live with all knowledge, because you saved yourself, you know your place, your situation, the situation of everything and everyone. You stopped being nonsensical, you became immunized and give solid, pure, perfect, clear, and brilliant proofs of all this. Humanity, no doubt at all, after hearing all of this, will be surprised, become surprised, 
and the living beings saying to each other, How come can it be? And when they know it all, bit by bit, then they will say, It is true. The world and everyone got to their final stage, all saved by rational immunization. Amazing discovery that fills all hearts with so much joy, that we cannot explain. And so, much wailing of many infants. How can we explain such a thing, if this is one of the most amazing discoveries in the world, because never anyone expected such a thing. And so, everyone with one's most brilliant argumentation to praise what arrived in the world for everyone. Shortly, the brilliant of the day will be rational immunization. Everyone acclaiming it throughout the world, in only one voice. Finally, came to the world and for everyone the true solution. Life will shine to everyone and everyone will live full of joy and happiness. The contentment, this will not even be commented. It will be awesome. The emotional satisfaction, of who receives such a surprise, unexpectedly. Life is without warranties and an illusion. Life is an unprecedented triumph, for being constitute of doubts and redoubts in all points of view about life. If life was not as it is and as you know it, without warranties, it would be superb, full of marvels. But, because it is not so, it is full of doubts, the discouragement exists, and from discouragement comes the dislikes and the aggravations in life. Then the living being goes through life mostly bored than happy, more annoyed than satisfied, due to not knowing and or be able how to judge life. While the living being is dominated by the illusions, has life as a symbol of marvels, but after the illusion disappears, it gets real and sees as a symbol of suffering, of deceit and mislead, due to life being thorny as it is. And does everyone get free of illusion? I say, yes, there is nobody, poor or rich, who after living a certain time, does not get real, because to what one is exposed, everyone else is so too. Each one living his bitterness, due to the means and ways of living. Everyone passing by his cruel strokes. Then, how should the living being face life? With all despise, focusing on things of its convenience and be tolerant in the peaceful environment, which is the carefreeness environment. The excessive worries torment the living being, and sometimes seems to be in a hell in life, convinced that this life is hell. These passages are due to the living being wanting to exhibit a certain status and this status, always bring excessive worries. There it is the hell, the highest discontentment, for those who do not cultivate the tranquil life, placid, without worries. What is an environment worth wherein the living being lives full of worrying and fights? Fights bring the complaints and aggravations that pester the living being himself, due to them, usually, do not knowing how to live. That is why, in the world, or all of these confusions, being the suffering the biggest brilliant of the day among all degrees, and the belligerence, never mind it. All warring to win in the world is real house of crazy ones, or a hospice. No one understands each other, many times not even themselves, because they do not know what they want. Many times you are well, but think you are bad, and when bad, you think you are well. And why was life formed like that, among the living? Because life and its belongings are all in doubts, generating, due to doubt, the methods of conquering. Then the living being says, if I conquered that, I'd be fine, if I conquered this I'd be happy, if I'd get that, life would be different. The living being conquers all of these and does not feel happy. Why? Because he lives in uncertainty. Many times the rich cries and complains of being rich, asking what its richness is worth, because has much money, but not the main thing, which is peace, living in constant worries and the fights are too much. What is it worth having all of this if it spends nights after nights wanting to sleep without being able to? Then the rich one many times, envying the life of the carefree poor one, the poor one who goes on life smiling, because nothing worries him and loves the life he has. He says to himself, if the poor one did not have love for life, he would turn against the rich ones, but because he has love for his life, he exhibit poverty with satisfaction. He eats a plate of food, without much worry, he lays down on a bed and does not remember anything anymore. What a happy life these people have, how happy they live. And what is my happiness, if I seem to be happy, but the worries contradict all of it. And so, with the worries, 
the rich ends up suffering the most. Now I say, yes, because we get tired of everything, we get tired of feeling good and also of feeling bad, and what bores is no good. And so, when the living being gets to know all of these things on the world and many more other things about what life is, imagine and say, I am fortunate, because I know how I should live. Everything bores, trips, travels, everything the living being possesses, which are only good while the living being does not have it. Afterwards, it loses its value in the living being, with time, sets it aside, due to everything being good while it does not bore, and everything in life is so. A new cloth, while this does not tire, it is worn at all times, but put to the side after the living being gets tired of that style, that color. And so it is with everything, for all living beings of both sexes. Therefore, there is nothing like a serene life, with worries, but worries that do not wear us out, tolerable worries, worries you can stand. And the living being asks, and this life will last in these conditions forever. I say, no, from what you already know, from rational immunization, you know that many transformations will come, always for the better, always changes for the better and the entire world will live happier, after everyone gets to know rational immunization. Those who are in illusion will come to reality. Illusion will only persists while the living being is in darkness, like it is with the entire world, everyone wrong, deceiving yourselves, in doubting of everything, in uncertainty of everything. And so, the appearances are the causers of this hurricane of feeding this suffering. The living being used to say that is very happy that who has much money. Mistakenly, because if you get to know the intimate life of the rich, you will see what happens and become very discouraged because it is not in the money that anyone's happiness resides. The more money, the more suffering, the richer, the more suffering. The ones in illusion are those who do not perceive this and go for the conquers. Can you not see that the more money, the more businesses, the more businesses, the more worries and stunning suffering. Many times the living being envies the life of a poor couple and says, how they live so happily. You are mistaken. Some, sometime remedied, say, if I had such a partner, I'd be happy. He envies the life of the couples, thinking they are happy, but they do not know what is going on. If you could really see life, you would say, whatever way you live, suffering is there, more or less, bearable or unbearable. There is no happiness. The happiness that exists is the moments of joy and satisfaction that pass through the living being's life. Those are but moments. When the living being is innocent and lives in the world in illusion, drunken with illusion, with the course of time and after the cruel strokes which he goes on receiving, it is when he steps out of illusion and little by little understand life's reality, saying, so much wasted time, so much suffering, how much I worked for a better life, for a life I thought existed and now I see that even richness is worth nothing. This is a way to interpret life by the way it is. The immunized ones are not in this role. The immunized ones live in a very different way. They represent life by the prism of the reality, by what it is. It is proved that everything bores. If the living being likes music and listens to it every day, ends up getting bored with it, and so it is with everything. Then the living being asks, and what is life worth? It is worth nothing. Why is it worth nothing? Because true life is not this one. This is a life in passing, as this world is also in passing. You already know the beginning and end of all of this. You know true life, which is from where you came out. And this, why is it not the true one? Because if it were the true one, it would not be so. You are passengers, who are there in the world, which is a car in transit with all passengers which are the living beings. Passengers, who are born, grow, make this little passage, and die. Everyone there in passing, in this world, because it is not this world the true place of all. There it is a little piece of the combustion of life in focus, of what you are. Now the living being says, distraction is very good. I say, everything bores. And the living being asks, and what is good in this world? And I say, nothing. To start with life itself that, if it were good, you would not die. And because it is useless, because it is bad, 
it is why you die. Therefore, everything is bad and nothing is worth it. Life itself is not worth it. And because of it, it is bad and it comes to an end. Illusion is what makes this or that being good. Good while the living being does not get bored with it, while not annoyed, while he is enjoying it. After the living being ceases to like it, it is not worth anything. And that is why there is no good in the world. The immunized ones know this very well and know what is good and what is bad. Because nothing of good exists, it is why suffering is the biggest brilliant of the day. Now, the infant asks, and the living beings on the world, will they reach this conclusion? They will. Darkness has to finish. After everyone is immunized, darkness will disappear, as well the suffering, because you will know and be aware of what you will adopt for your own good. Your own good means, to equilibrate in life the best way possible, until its extinction. Therefore, the living being who knows life, he does not worry with anything. Everything is good, because it is of life. What is bad, it is good, and what is good, it is good indeed. Yes, because what appears good is bad and what appears bad is good and it is right. That is why this world is crooked and now you know how this crookedness started. And for being crooked, you do not even have the right to live and so you die, if you want it or not. By that see the crookedness. Where is the good? Where is the right? Nowhere. Because you formed this education to wrongly understand each other and because of it, you live in pain. Why in pain? Because suffering is constant. This is a small exposition of life of those who want to live in this world, in darkness, always making mistakes. A darkness so deep that you cannot reshikinate as you should, because you see each time more the horrible suffering in this world and darkness does not let the living being think correctly making one think differently, according to the darkness that dominate them. The big one suffers, the small one suffers, the rich one suffers, and the poor one suffers. Therefore, the best in life is to adore it with disdain. Yes, because the life itself does not mind anyone. If it did, the living being would not lose it and if life itself does not mind the living being, the obligation, the duty of the living being, according to what life is, is to face it with disdain and all its belongings. Many times, the living being, due to not ratiocination as he should, but as he should not, that is why he faces life in a different way as it is. And that is why you are always seeing that there is no age to die. To have love for life is for the living beings who live in darkness, because if life does not have love for the own living being, loving it is the living being deceive himself. Life does not have love for the living being. If it did, it would realize his wishes and the living beings would live forever. All of these are sentences made by men, all made by the living beings themselves. Sentences and terms that the own living being uses, thinking he is very much right and afterwards verifying that he found the nullification of everything. And that is why everyone lives in uncertainty about everything. Everyone thinks he is talking very well and next thing you know, you realize that you are talking very badly, deceiving yourself. You invented these words, love, life, with all those sentences, but differing the alphabet to be able to understand each other and thinking that you are very much right and you do not even find the certainty in yourself, not seeing things as they truly are and saying that everything in the world is illusion and nothing else. You exhibit so, the ruins of yourselves and everyone and because of it everyone suffers, big or small. Suffering is general. The one who knows suffers and the one who does not know suffers. Proof that knowing and not knowing like such is the same thing. The elevation of thought is very similar to ratiocination, but, because it is no ratiocination, it is why the living beings are animals, free thinkers, with great developed of thought. And because of it, you are seeing today, or since long, that to rationals there is still a long way and just now you are on your way to become rational, through rational immunization. With the evolved thought, the way it is there in that world, everyone thinks that because he has this thought well developed that you are rationals, but you never saw what rational is. Today is when you are seeing all of this, understanding that you are animals there from the ground, irrational animals, like all other animals are, like all animals are, and because of it you live there like animals. If you were rationals, you would be completely different. 
The ratiocination is something pure, perfect, and clear and your thinking is full of imperfections. You are animals and because of it, you could not stop being the way you are, but you live with this mania of wanting to be what you are not. You talk about ratiocination, as if it exists among animals. Now yes, rational immunization exists, which is embraced by the animal source.